Hello everyone and welcome back to my heavenly babies. My name is Angel and laying right here is Dylan and all of his information will be right there on the screen. Today is Share a Sun Sunday and I host that here on my channel and Dylan is back you guys. He's been gone for a little while because I didn't want to do videos on him because he really needed a seal. He was getting pretty shiny, and I didn't want to lose the beautiful art that the artist captured on him. He is a lookalike of my own son, Dylan, and she really captured everything about him. So I didn't want to lose that, so I kept him put away until I could seal him, and I got him all sealed up, and he looks great. I gave him the moisture in all the right areas and everything. He just looks so good, and I'm so happy to have him back and doing another Share a Sun Sunday with him. So we're going to get him dressed, but before we do, we're going to go ahead and read the word. Today is the 3rd of November, and it is called Being Honest with God, Job 10.1. I loathe my very life, therefore I will give free reign to my complaint and speak out in the bitterness of my soul. And it goes on to say, you can understand Job's bitterness. He had lost everything, family, possession, health, even his friends. But the hardest blow of all was that he couldn't understand why the God he had worshipped and served so faithfully had done this to him. Have you ever felt this way toward God? Life can be hard, and sometimes it leaves us confused or even angry and bitter. And like Job, you may have told God exactly how you felt and why not. He already knew your mind and heart, and he doesn't want us to pretend that everything is all right when it isn't. He didn't... Um, chastised Job for his honesty. He understood his heartache just as he understood understands ours. And he still loved Job. He or just as he still loves us. But Job didn't just keep complaining as we've prone to do. Instead, he turned toward God in faith and in time God gave him comfort and peace. Not all his questions were answered, but he realized that God can be trusted even when we don't understand. May this be true to you. Amen. You know, you guys, I just got done reading all of Job again because I've been, you know, getting some reading done and uh, Job came up and I'm trying to read, you know, the one year challenge I am behind still, but I did get all of Job done while I was painting and stuff. And I absolutely love the book of Job. I mean, you know, it was the devil that wanted to tempt him. He was a very faithful man to God. He, you know, honored God in every way. He had so many nice things. He had a big family, he had a big, beautiful home. He had lots of animals. He had a lot of money. He was loved by a lot of people. And the devil said to God, I want to, you know, take all that away from him and prove a point that he'll turn from you. And God said, you can do, God allowed it. He said, I will let you, but you cannot kill him. That's the only thing you can't do is you can't kill him. Well, Job lost everything, his children, his home, his farm, his animal, you know, all his animals, crops, everything all in one day. And then he was given sores all over his body. I mean, it was very hard for him to understand what was going on. And he did question God. There's been many times that we question God. I've questioned God. God, how much more of this vertigo can I take? You know, and I, we all do. And, and there's like it said in there, why like hide it from God? You can't hide nothing from God. God already knows what's on our hearts. And God's a big God. We, you know, he can handle it. So we've all gotten in those moments, but he really, you know, thought why, but he still, his faith in God was so big. His friends were saying, you had to have done something. For God to do this to you, hun, I'm recording you. <laughs> um, and, uh, you know, for God, you know, why would you do this to me, God, and all of this and, you know, question him. But then God gave him kind of a good scolding at the end, explained that first off, we should never question God. But of course, we're going to, but God still loves us. He will still love us and understand that we're human and it's hard and the heartache and the things we go through is hard to deal with. And it was really hard for him, but his faith in God was just so big. And then at the end, God gave him back everything tenfold. So now he had 14 children instead of seven. He had double the amount of animals and crops and farming. And his house was two times the size. The amount of his money was two times. You know, just it was just amazing what God did for him and showed him in his faith. So even though he was not really losing faith, but questioning God and getting upset and had the heartache and all that, God still gave him back everything. So God understands our heartache and our pains when we go through it. And that's what we need to remember, you guys, that uh, God loves us. So always being honest with God. We just need to be honest with them. There's no reason to hide it. Like there's been many times when, you know, I've prayed and I don't want to say certain things. And I'm like, God, you know, this is silly. I'm just going to tell you because you already know anyways. Like I can't hide that from you. I can't hide nothing from God. 
So yes, when we are anger or angry or bitter or upset or confused, it is okay to ask God, you know, but the thing is, is will our, you know, questions be answered? We just have to remember to continue to read his word. God will speak to you. He will make you understand and hear things if you listen closely. Um, and, you know, there's times that I do feel God doing a work in my life and reasons why I'm going through things, why other people go through things, why we do. So we just need to be honest always with God because we can't hide anything from him anyways. We just can't. The wisdom for today. Thank you, God, that you can come, to, that we can come to you with our heart and confusion when life is difficult. Your word promises that when we come to you weary and heavy burden, you will allow us to experience rest. Amen to that. So see, when we are at that point of heavy burden and we need the rest, he will allow the rest. He will come in and he will definitely help with that. Definitely like with my vertical being so many months that it was just getting so overwhelming. I was crying a lot and upset and I feel him, you know, changing things in my life because, you know, he... I feel God saying it's time to rest now. It is. It's not like the vertigo is completely gone, but definitely I'm getting better days and I'm grateful for that. And I'm grateful that I can feel things changing. And I went through something for a reason. You know, God gives his hardest trials to his strongest soldiers. So I do believe like Job, Job in the Bible being strong. I do believe I'm a, a strong person. I don't think I am, but people keep telling me that I am. Even my own doctor, when I talk to her, uh, she said, I'm sorry you're going through that angel, but you're very strong. I will be praying for you to get through it, but you're a strong woman. You'll get through it. I know you are. So um, it does feel good to, to know, you know that I am strong, even though I don't feel it. I don't feel it sometimes that I'm strong. Sometimes I feel very weak, but I must be strong for to be going through something so hard. You know, it's really, really hard and tough. But I am grateful. I'm a Christian. I'm grateful I have my salvation, and I'm grateful that God loves me. He definitely does. So even though I'm going through it and getting through it, I know that I will. We need to start our day, go through our day, and end our day with life's manual, the Holy Bible. We want to read it, study, honor, obey, and live by it. And a great one to read, you guys, is Job. If you're having a difficult time in your life, please read the book of Job. Please. You are going to realize that things are not as bad as you think it is when you hear everything that this man lost. And yet, even though he was getting mad and everything, the faith he had in God, his own wife said, turn from God and, you know, and curse him. And, and just turn from him, I mean, because nobody could understand. And then having your friends tell you, you did something wrong. You deserve this. God wouldn't do this to you. You must have done something right. It was hard what Job went through. So definitely be reading the Read the Book of Job. If you ever are having a hard time in your life, read the Book of Job. Think about what Jesus did on the cross for us. Nothing could be harder than that. Nothing. So, and he didn't even have to do that. But God wanted to do this so that we could have our salvation and have a, you know, a out, a... Uh, a gift to be able to make it to heaven, get our salvation and all that if we believe. So yeah, I mean, if Jesus can die on the cross, we certainly can go through a few things in our life. So let's continue praying for everyone, praying for the people that, uh, you know, and these hurricanes that happen and for our presidential election coming up, you guys, let's be praying for that. I hope you guys all did get out and vote. Vote for whoever you believe is right. I voted for Trump. That's what I believe is the right person. Um, but, uh, you know, each, to each and every one of you out there, I mean, you do what you feel in your heart is right. You know, we don't have a right to tell anybody what to do. God gives us all free will as well. So you have a free will to vote for whoever you want. Um, but, uh, definitely vote though. You guys definitely get out and vote. All right. We're going to get on to Dylan now. Yes. Little buddy. So happy to have you back for share a son. Yeah. And speaking of that, my kid, um, I had said yesterday, he's in San Diego right now. Can't believe my baby, when he used to be this little, he grew up so fast, 26 years old, on a vacation right now, his first plane ride and all that. It's just amazing how fast time goes. It's just so weird, you guys. All right, Dylan is going to go into this, this cute um, knit, uh, like, jumper, or what would you call it, uh, overalls. It's brown. I have put it on a baby before, but it's been a while. It's a very nice brown for the fall time. It's very pretty. It's got a cream uh, onesie under it with animals on it. So it's got safari animals, a lion, a giraffe, a, um, I think it's just lion. Oh, and elephants. Very cute. And then it's the cream color with brown animals printed on it. And then the, uh, the, uh, what do you call this again? The knitted outfit is brown. It's got a little pocket on it. It's got these beautiful, uh, fake wood, um, full buttons. No, they're not full. They are real. They work. But I mean that they are a fake wood-like and it's got no feet in it, snaps in the crotch. We're just going to do cream little socks. And we might put these back on, these little shoes. They're a little bit big on them, but they actually go really good with this. So maybe I'll put the shoes back on. But yeah, so that is what Dylan's going to go into. How are all of you guys doing? I hope you had a wonderful weekend. 
It is actually just Friday for me, but I pre-record all these videos, especially when I'm feeling so good today. I want to get videos done. Oh, this isn't a onesie, you guys. This is a shirt. I thought it was a onesie. It's a shirt. I got that. It is uh, Carter's just one. I think I got that from Target. So, but yeah, I hope you guys are having a nice Sunday because when you see this, it will be Sunday. So I hope you had a nice weekend and I hope you guys are all um, healthy, happy, and safe. I always pray for that. All right, little man. Do you have cream socks on already? Are they cream? No, I think he's got white on, so I will change those. I was going to say we could just keep them on. They're very close <laughs> to the color. They probably are a cream. Actually, they are a cream. Yeah, they are. We could probably just leave those on you then. We'll probably just leave those on him. Because that shirt is more creamy white than anything. Look at that messy hair. Can't wait to show you guys his beautiful seal. Oh, I'm so glad that I can do all this stuff and I don't have to send my babies away. Because that's hard. But it's also nice to know somebody that can do it. You know, so if you guys do have a vinyl you need sealed, whether it be a real authentic or non-authentic and you need it sealed, I'd be more than happy to do that for you. Um, hit me up. I'll put my email on the screen there and um, I'll seal it up for you. Really nice. Dylan got a double seal here. And as you see, the I'll get him up close so you guys can see him. Um, he just looks great. His seal took really, really good. So I can do that. Or if you guys are interested in getting, if you get any of those AliExpress babies that are somewhat painted, but you want a little bit more to it and then a seal, I can also do that as well. So just hit me up. But let me show you. Look at how wonderful he looks now, you guys. Now, if you see any shine, that's just the light. But he is not shiny at all. He is sealed so good, you guys. I mean, and he feels so good. I like the seal that I use. Now, it's not a textured seal, but it's a seal that definitely holds. Look at those beautiful little feet. And look at that little mole. My son had a mole on, or has a mole on the bottom of his foot, so do I. We have it on opposite feet, though. That's how I knew he was mine. He does have that ring around his neck. Ring around the neck, that sounds funny. That ring so that it moves good. She did that, the artist did, but look at him. And look at that messy hair. But yes, yeah, sealed really good. I'm very happy that that's just drool, dribble. I had her do like a milk mouth, and so she did that dribble because he used to fall asleep all the time being a preemie. He was born almost a month early. Um, they took him a month early because of my heart. They didn't know that's what it was, but I had the. they thought the first signs of toxemia, and they took him early, but I actually was developing a heart condition. I had developed postpartum cardiomyopathy after I had him, so he was the only child I was ever able to have, um, and thank God I got through that because that was tough. I had a very weak heart at the age of 22. After, right after I had him, I developed postpartum cardiomyopathy. I had the heart of an 83-year-old woman at 22. My heart was only functioning at 8% of the upper left ventricle, and it was double the size. So that's why this baby is very special because I was in the hospital a long time and I didn't really get to enjoy the newborn stage with my son. And that was hard because I was in the hospital a long time. And uh, yeah, it was just tough, you guys. Really, really tough. But God got me through that too. And I'm very happy about that. But yeah, so he was special. I didn't want, um, you know, oh, and that's why I was going to say about the, dri the dribble because he would only take like an ounce at a time. And then he'd wake up every hour on the hour. He'd only take like an ounce because he was so little or whatever. But he wasn't little, you guys. He was almost a seven-pound baby almost a month early. And he was uh, 19 and a half or 19 and three-fourth inches long. This baby was done like that because the Darren um, asleep is uh, only a 17-inch baby. She made him to a little over 19 with a bigger body on him. So he's almost the size and weighted him to a little over six pounds too to make it real close and weight of my actual son. So yeah, that, that would be a big baby being born that early. But to me, he just appeared so, so, you know, so, so tiny and he was a newborn. And being um, premature, he didn't take a lot. You know, he wouldn't drink a lot. So he was waking me up every hour and I was just getting more and more tired and didn't know why that, you know, about the heart. But um, yeah, he so, and so he'd always have that little drool down the mouth like that because he would fall asleep with that bottle, which most babies do anyways. But, yeah, he always did. Yeah, these are going to be a little bit long. This is a newborn size, and he does fit newborn size clothes, but some things are just a little bit big, like in the sleeves. So I'm going to roll this back just a little bit for him so that it looks good. But, yeah, he, uh, he uh, yeah, drooled all the time. <laughs> always drooling. Yeah, he was a sweater. He sweat a lot, so he was always in onesies. Uh, when he was sleeping, he was he sweat a lot and he drooled a lot. So that's why I asked her to do the, the milk mouth on him. So that's what that was. And I, of course, went right over that because I wanted to keep all the beauty that she did to him. But I'm just glad that I knew how to seal him, you know, because I didn't want to even attempt to touch him anymore because I was so afraid with that shine that he would start losing his paint as well. And he didn't. So I got it done quick enough 
and I'm happy about that. Boy, this really fits you good. This the one the jumper fits him really good. It's actually a great fit on him. It's just the, the arms are a little long. So let me comb his hair. Aw, he looks adorable. You look adorable. I just forgot to get the brush in the water. We're gonna comb his hair. Yeah, we'll comb your hair, buddy. So yeah, I'm just so, so happy now that he is done up and I've used <clears throat> a sill, <clears throat> excuse me, that was recommended to me by Chastity over at Chastity Dolls. And it actually does hold really well, I've been told because I don't know if I told you a story, if you're new to my channel, I had a, a doll that I had done the hair on it and I didn't like it. And so I wanted the, one of the artists that I got a baby through, it was a bald baby and I was doing hair on it and I just didn't like, it was too, the color was too bold. It was, I was doing a redhead and it was just too orange. I was trying to match up with the eyebrows she had done. So it was just too bold. I wanted more of a, um, a auburn color. Oh, so sweet. Um, so anyways, I asked her if she would strip it and, um, just, you know, leave it bald or whatever and strip it. And she, got a hold of me and said, what did you use to seal it? Because I can't get it off. And she just couldn't. And that's the seal I use on these babies here. And she could not get it off. So <laughs> that being said, I do know it's a good seal. So I do know it's going to hold good. So you don't exactly like a lot of people say they love the textured seal because it holds and holds and holds. And that's true. But it doesn't have to be a texture seal. This one here holds and holds and holds and you can't even really get it off. So I mean, she couldn't get it off. She did everything, even acetone. And I guess you can, you just have to be really careful when you're using the acetone to get it off, but she just didn't want to ruin that baby. So she just said, I'm going to have to do a whole new head because if I keep going, it's going to uh, stain and ruin and everything because I had done such an orange color hair too. And she goes, I just can't get it off. I can't, and I'm going to, I'm going to end up ruining the vinyl. So yeah, it's, it's a good, good seal. So you guys will know if you have me sealed up, you know, that is going to be a good seal. Look at how cute he looks. <laughs> With those shoes and the, the shoes are just a little bit big, but they look so great with that outfit. So that's why I wanted to put it on him. But he is back, you guys, and better than ever. He's got the little bracelet back on. That's the one my son actually had on in the hospital. And I was able to slip it off his hand when he came home from the hospital. And then I put it on this doll. But uh, yeah, he looks great. He's all done. So he'll be joining us again now for Share a Son Sunday. Every once in a while, I'll share a different one. But I like to share him on Sundays, being a very special, you know, uh, baby to me because of what I went through and all that and everything but every once in a while I'll do a different one of my son babies but if you've got you know if you'd like to do that share one of your boy babies and take me I would appreciate it other than that Dylan's gonna blow you guys a kiss Mwah! he needs his ducky back he loves all his aunties and uncles grandmas and grandpas and all of his little cousins I love you guys as well Mwah! but remember who loves you the most God even through the hardest trials in your life that's that footprints when there's two sets, that's when, you know, Jesus is walking right beside you. When there's only one, you're not walking alone. Jesus is carrying you through it. So believe me, um, you know, God will get you through the hard trials. Just remember that. Can't have a rainbow without a storm, right? Sometimes we have to weather those storms to get to the rainbow. I love you guys very much. Everybody take care. God bless. And I will see each and every one of you in my very next upload.